Hello everyone, my name is Rai and today I'm going to be having a look at the Urdom H&M Women's Collection. So two separate videos, there was some promo with Embargo, so both the videos will be online today. Um, I was a little early with the videos, but it's not a problem, so it will be online today, both of them. So enjoy these videos and let's get into it. So starting off with some accessories, we got the Urdom H&M Signature Pins, um, Scarves, and just two earrings for women. We also got some leggings, um, and I think these are leggings, and I don't know, it could be something completely different. Uh, can't figure out what it is by looking at this picture and me being a man. So, um, all these black floral things look pretty nice in my opinion. Um, these black boots look cool. Um, the entire set, which I thought was the best of the uh, women's collection, um, together with the pants, uh, look really cool. And we have all sorts of variations on this um, floral pattern, uh, which I hope they would do at the men's section as well, but we didn't really get um, some dresses, um, really extreme pieces in my opinion. Uh, I wouldn't see people like regularly wearing this in the street. Nevertheless, um, here we get a faux fur coat. Um, and I don't think this is that expensive actually. I thought it would be around 150. Um, but before I would think it would be around uh, like 350 or anything like that But I think um, I've seen it in a magazine um, Like an editorial somewhere and that is at 150, but I'm not sure so you can't quote me on that um, Yet again all the prices will be online today as well. I think um, but I'm not sure about that So just keep prices in mind could be different than what they are now. So or what I'm telling you so we got this coat, I don't think it's that interesting, um, this is really nice looking um, at, towards the bottom, so the print changes, the grid changes, uh, which I think is quite nice. And this I quite like, um, from the look of this, I don't know what it looks like on someone, I don't know, can't remember if I've seen this because I've seen so many pictures and I can't remember what's what exactly. So we see the dress we've talked about a lot, so I'm just gonna go right through, if you wanna see like better pictures, just pause the video so you can have a good look. Um, here we see a more blue, um, like navy blue, uh, teal flower pattern on this uh, on this dress. And yet again, as I said, I don't know if I would see anyone like just wearing this on the street. And this time maybe like with a really fancy party, anything like that. So these new floral patterns uh, I think are pretty cool. Also from men, so they got a men's um, like floral and a women's floral. And this floral got back in the um, men's section as well so they got like bigger floral there and like smaller floral for the women's collection which I think is pretty nice so I got these leggings this um, I don't know what to describe this I'm just gonna say it's a dress again um, this suit together with the um, um, skirt we've seen right here uh, which we didn't know was like a long skirt or a short skirt it ended up being a um, like I think over the knees I don't know maybe just above <laughs> I don't know um, and the floral pattern just used all over this um, Urdom H&M coat and it looks pretty clean. I just don't know if I would like love seeing someone in this. Uh, and these pants, I think these pants look pretty cool too. Um, they did a pretty good job on the pattern. So here we see a, just it looks like something from the piece we've seen before. Uh, just a regular shirt, tank top maybe, I don't know. This is just a shirt, Victorian style shirt. It's good with this white one with the standing neck. Um, I like the one with the standing neck a lot. Um, there's also one for men, so if you're interested in that, we should have a look at the other videos so you can see those pieces as well. Here we see those slip-on shoes. I'm not a big fan of slip-on shoes. Um, the print looks pretty clean, but then again, that's everything that I need to say about that. Um, these bags look really expensive, in my opinion. That would be something for people who would like to spend a little more on these H&M Guest Designer collections. Um, so here we got some women's shoes. <laughs> I really don't know what to call this. Um, but we talked about this before. So here we got some socks. Um, I think these are pretty long socks. Um, maybe compare them up with anything in this collection. Um, I don't know what this will look like. And we didn't get like really tall socks for men. We just got regular ones. Um, so here we got this suit, which looks really different. It looked almost like blue and gold on the pictures uh, where she got it on. And here it looks like black and gold or yellow even. It's weird that it can be such a difference of colors just by a uh, product picture and on model picture. So here we got a gray suit. This gray suit looks really clean in my opinion, just like the gray suit from the men's collection. The pants are a little bit more wide and I like that for this suit. It's just a little bit different than the usual 
um, suit. So here you got some sweaters, um, the mohair sweater we talked about, the um, like female version of the floral sweater. So the men's one is a little bit more eccentric with the floral and this one is a little less. So for women we got a grey Erdem hoodie and for men we got a black Erdem hoodie and the, and the R and the M is upside down. Um, it's a pretty clean design and that would be something you would just buy to have uh, for this collection. But it could also look really clean of course. Um, but that's not something new I've seen. Um, most likely people will get really um, excited about the uh, logo stuff. Uh, which I understand. Some people get excited about the excessive stuff, which I also understand. So I see some sweaters and these look really cute, I think. Um, especially this blue one. Um, I like that they did a like contrasting thing between the men and women's collection. Um, so we, we see some things back in the women's collection and some things back in the men's collection. Um, I like that. And this was the collection, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this entire journey for the Arnold Fitch collection. So the November 2nd, this collection will be in stores and online. I hope you guys find something you love from this collection. Um, I guess everyone could find something in this collection. Before we leave, um, if you want to see any other guest designer pieces from all the collections, all the way back to Margiela, then be sure to have a look on my YouTube channel or if you want to see outfits with these pieces then just have a look at my Instagram, which you can see on the screen right here. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.